Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage. This is a different one. I guess I got a little, well, not that I got tired of drawing all the children's faces, but I decided to try something um, out of the ordinary. So I got these cowboy boots. Now, what I actually had intended is to do a series of cowboy boots um, for one of the stores, the online stores that, um, that I put things into because I have seen that the cowboy boots are hugely pop popular. As a matter of fact, um, I did have some things in Zazzle. It's one of those royalty um, shops where you can buy our um, items, um, merchandise, that has artwork, original artwork from the artist, and you're, you're paying for the item and usually the royalty company is paying a royalty fee to the artist whose work you are using. Unfortunately, Zazzle doesn't do that anymore. They they do publish things like business cards and t-shirts etc with people's artwork on it but they don't pay the artist in money they pay the artist in merchandise which is not making me happy I don't want merchandise thank you I would like to you know pay my bills so I took my things off of Zazzle, but I found that the boots were hugely popular. I mean, I mean, they sold regularly. Um, people often wanted items with these boots that I did. So I decided to do a series of boots. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> having found some pictures of boots and deciding to do collage, um, I got halfway through this one and started to be unhappy with it, with the progress, with the look, with the feel. Also, it was one of those weeks where things were just constantly keeping me from my art board and I didn't have as much time to work as I like to have. Um, and maybe I was rushing it. I, I don't know. Um, wh whatever the reason. You'll see. I'll show you in a minute. I started with the upper part of the boots. These are butterfly boots. I thought it was cute. I thought the motif was darling. But the highlights were bothering me on the butterflies. I, you know, and that's where my first problem showed up. What I should have done was to take the red that I used for the butterflies and cut two wings out at the same time. That way they would be exactly the same size. But no, I eyeballed it. And what happened was the wings on the two boots did not match. Well, I wanted the one on the left to be a little darker and the one on the right to be a little lighter because it's closer to the light source. But they don't match in size, they don't match in um, in dimension, in color, in, in, they don't match at all. And that bothered me right away. I'm looking at it and going, oh, nobody would buy these boots. They don't match, you know, the left doesn't match the right. It, who wants a sh pair of shoes that don't match? Then I came to the bottom part where you've got to put on dark um, leather for the bottom part of the boot and <sighs> as you can see. Now, when I cut these pieces out, I really thought they weren't that dark. But after putting them next to the light upper part of the boot, they look positively black. And that's not right. 
So I'll go ahead and I'll finish putting these pieces on because I did cut them out. You can see I have some faces that were in shadow, so they they made a nice dark brown, or at least I thought it was dark brown, but it's practically black. I ran out of rubber cement, so I had to refill right about here. <laughs> And uh, and some of the food is out of the camera frame, I'm sorry, the lower part. But you can see it gets darker and darker. Even though I'm working the wrinkles in the leather. What's more is I think something that bothered me right away was that I have the shape of the boot off ever so slightly, but just enough that you look at it and you go, what is wrong with this shoe? It doesn't look like a shoe, it looks like a moccasin. <clears throat> it's just too dark. I finished it completely, as I normally do. I put it up on my wall and I stared at it. Isn't that horrible? I mean, that, I'm sorry, that's horrible. I just, no, no, nobody's going to buy that. So I took it down and I started putting on light pieces, a much lighter brown. I took off that face because I still want to use it, but I'm using a lighter brown for the upper part of this boot. I'm going to leave the black where, you know, around the sole, it looks like it should be dark anyway. Where it's catching the light, it should be much lighter. and. I made the one on the um, right a little longer in the toe, and I fixed the one on the left by fixing the, um, the outline around the sole. That helped an awful lot. I just used red for that sole. And I think I trimmed the butterfly on the right just enough to make it match the one on the left. Sometimes you just got to take it down and do a fix. Now this is better, still pretty dark, but much better. <laughs> you see the face in the boot. I like when that happens. I also put lots of little things around the edges that you, you know, you won't even catch unless you stared at it for a while. But thanks so much for watching. I sure appreciate all of my subscribers. You mean a lot to me. It means you like my work. And so do come again. Check out some of my links. And see what else I'm doing. Bye everyone. See you next time.